Well, I've been brewing now for uh, 20 years. I started home brewing when I was in university. After university, I worked in a couple of craft breweries. And then, you know, I grew up in Kenya, so for me, it was natural to come back home. I saw this gap in the market because we didn't have this craft brewing industry. And that's when I said, let's do something different. The Brew Bistro experience is a combination of great craft beer, good quality food, good quality service, great entertainment. It's the whole package. I've been working with the Peno Ricard Kenya team for quite some time, and they are the representatives of Jameson. And they told me about a project where the idea was to brew a beer in Aged in a Jameson barrel. I have been to Ireland a long time ago. At this time, the experience was different. But the most exciting thing was actually to meet the Master of Science, David Quinn. To share experiences with someone who already has so much experience in the field was a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me. Just walking into the warehouse was amazing. The aromas in the air, I mean, you can just feel the whiskey everywhere. You have hundreds and hundreds of barrels stacked one on top of the other, aging for years and years. And then the fact that, you know, we got to taste whiskey straight out of a barrel was absolutely amazing because the complexity of the whiskey straight from the barrel but with the nice oaky flavors, the vanilla, the spice, the peppery notes was great. Making a Jameson uh, barrel-aged beer or making a whiskey the barrel is a very important part for it because the barrel imparts a lot of flavor, a lot of aroma into the product. So it's very important that these barrels are well maintained. We selected the barrels with David and then they shipped them down and the barrels uh, are now here. The exciting part was to find out what's inside. Ideally, you want to have a bit of whiskey inside, the aromas inside and you want to see the state of the barrel. What we're doing basically is a triple ale, which is a very dark golden color ale that has been fermented for a long time. It has great flavor of malt, a bit of chocolate, a bit of roasted coffee, some hints of floral from the hops. And we're hoping that in the barrel, you'll get those flavors of Jameson, a bit of the spice, a bit of the nuts, a bit of the floral aspect, and also a bit of the vanilla from the bourbon barrels. So after six to eight weeks, we should get a perfectly balanced product that's ready to be enjoyed. It's been maturing for six weeks. I had an idea of what it was gonna be like, but it's actually a lot better. While it's maturing in the barrel, there's a lot of unknown factors that you need to control. And we have been tasting it every step, every week we've been tasting the barrels. The final product has definitely surpassed my expectations. It's a great product, it's rich, the color is beautiful, it's golden. It's got notes of vanilla, of spice, of pepper. It's got a bit of the malt flavors. It's got a bit of the Jameson, the oak from the bourbon barrels. It really embodies what the project was supposed to be.